what's up guys what's up family how y'all doing welcome back to El Monet's channel our channel this is our channel so today I am going to bring you my top 10 bath and body works summer fragrances yes so let me start off with number 10 number 10 is Oahu coconut sunset yeah you may say oh that bottle was pretty new this is my second bottle and I'm already finished with the lotion so I'm gonna read the notes the notes are coconut blossom sparkling bergamot beach turborose Hawaiian Monoi and molten amber so number 10 is Oahu coconut sunset and this is just one of my favorite coconut scented mist so this is a nice beachy coconut because I'm not into the at the beach scent but oh y'all Oahu coconut sunset is the bosom and this is number 10 all right number nine I finished this up in my empties so this is fresh coconut culotta this is I wouldn't say a coconut scent per se it's more like a pineapple um, pina colada scent so that's coconut culotta coconut culotta fresh coconut culotta and this is my backup so I finished one already this is my second backup and I have a third backup so that's that one for number nine number ten is a fragrance that came out maybe last the end of last year or maybe this year I'm not sure but I just started using it and it is one in a million I am in love with this scent this is like a perfumey floral scent like I wore this um, when my grandmother was in the hospital and one of the nurses he noticed the smell he was like is somebody in here wearing gardenia I'm like what hold on I don't know let me see my notes so the notes are jasmine extract tuberose oil white gardenia pink pepper and cashmere musk so he hit it right on the head and that is one in a million and it's in store still so you can still pick this up okay now this one people may say they use it around new year's or whatever whatever have you but i use it now and it is champagne toast this is the shimmer so i've been using the shimmer and along with the oil only a little bit but i've been using the heck out of this and the notes for this is champagne bubbles black uh, blackberry liquor and white next ring so champagne toast is my number seven i forgot what number i was on if you hear the thunder excuse because it is storming right now so number six is a retired scent that you probably can't find at the moment unless they bring it back during the SES and it is Simona Escape so it's Simona um, Weekend Escape if that's how you say it so this is my second bottle and I already done started using this one and the notes are it's a blend of pear nectar Sonoma, I think it's Sonoma, Sonoma Peach and Sun Drenched Oak. So this is a nice scent. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I can't even describe it. I guess you can smell the peach. I mean the yeah. The is it the peach and the pear, but I'm not sure. It's not heavy on the peach, but it smells good to me. And this is a part of my favorite, so that is that one and this one came out I think last year and it is number five in the stars I am so in love with this I finished um a set last summer yeah well the end of last year I finished a set in in the stars this is my second one and I also have a third one so the keynotes are sunflowers sandalwood musk sugar tangelo 
um, white argon wood and radiant amber and this is like this is a this can be a high-end perfume oh my gosh this smells so good and if you um have a chance to get the candle get the candle as well because it smells amazing so this is in the stars and i love this scent and i do have a backup after that backup <sighs> if you hit me. you hear me you hear me you hear me so now these next ones are rare and probably hard to find so at number four i have my tokyo lotus and apple blossom and this is also i think my second bottle oh my gosh this smells so good the keynotes are tokyo's uh it's tokyo lotus and apple so it's jasmine apple blossom white bamboo cherry red lotus mingling with crisp mandarin zest and imperial um, peony petals to me this is not a floral scent but this one smells amazing so that was number four <laughs> okay so my top three. Oh my gosh oh my gosh okay okay my top three i had to look up the notes for this one so at number three it is love 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 and you see i haven't been trying to use this because it's hard to find oh my gosh this is this smells so good this smells so good and the notes for this i have to read it off of my notebook a blend of succulent berries juicy pears and white plum this is definitely a plum scent this is a nice sweet plum scent Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This can also be a high-end perfume. But this is, again is love, love, love. This is when they had the perfumes back in the day. And I still have this. I think this is probably from like sometime 2000. Maybe early 2010 or even earlier than that. So this is my number three. My number two came out this year in the SAS. And it is the one and only Carried Away. Oh my gosh. And how many? I have, this is the one I've been using. I bought an extra spray and an extra lotion. But this is my second one. I already used one. So this is my second one plus I have a backup. And the scent notes for this is um, Lush Raspberry, Juicy Pear Nectar, White Jasmine, Soft Violet Petals, and Whipped Vanilla. And this can be also a high-end perfume. Like, this is bomb diggity, diggity, diggity. I suggest if they come out with this again, get you one. Get you two. Get you three. Just get you some. Because Carried Away is bomb. I'm for real. You have to smell this for yourself. It's bomb. And finally, my number one. They selling this on eBay for $125.99. What? What? And the price on here, I think back in the day, was $14. And it is none other than Sweet on Paris. And this is a fairly new bottle. This is my second bottle or third bottle. I don't know. I love it. And this to me, oh my gosh. This smell like a cotton candy, a little like a cotton candy, but let me read the sit notes because I had to look this up. An enticing medley of juicy blackberry, lemon meringue, and creamy vanilla. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, but I do not recommend paying no a hundred and something dollars. I think I bought this off of Macari a few months back for $17. Yeah, it's three more dollars than what I was paid in store. But this is rare, and I only paid $17. And this is my second one, because I already had my own, and then I found this one on Macari. So, guys, that is my top 10 Bath & Body Works summer fragrances. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a like. Um, make sure you subscribe. And down below, if any of these were your favorites or something that you would like to try, Please um, put that in the comment section. Let me know which one of these scents, if you can have it right now, which one would it be? 
So again, guys, thank you for watching. Sending all my love to you all. Have a blessed night. And this probably will go up before my Q&A. And I will have a Q&A for you. No, I think I already put my Q&A up. So this will go up after my Q&A. So again, thank you guys. Have a good one.